guys, Eric here. Welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to give you guys five steps to increasing your credit score to the 800s, right? I've been able to help so many people uh, increase their credit scores, get to the things that they want, the things that they desire. And in today's video, I'm bringing the information to you. So stick around for the five tips on how to get to an 800 credit score. So we're going to dive into this information. Uh, what I need you to do real quick is to go ahead and hit that like button uh, and subscribe to the channel so that you can get all my videos and see past videos of me dropping credit repair gems. And to get all my up-to-date videos, go ahead and smash that bell for me so that once I release a video, you'll get all my up-to-date videos um, the moment I drop them. So because I'm always dropping uh, gems and tricks and tips. So uh, definitely go ahead and hit that bell and subscribe for them. We're going to start with tip one, right? So a lot of people don't understand what it takes to, uh, what you need for your credit repair, for your credit to be in the 800. So we're going to dive right on into it. So tip one, we're going to start with uh, the thing that hits your credit the most, which is 35% of your FICO score. That is payment history, right? So when it comes to payment history, that means to FICO that you can pay your bills on time. That means that you are in good standards, uh, you're responsible, those kind of things. So um, the things that you want to take a look at that impact your credit the most when you're looking at your FICO score is the first 24 months. So FICO takes everything within the first 24 months that's on your credit report. So within that 24 month period, if you don't have any late payments on that, you're probably good on your credit. But if you don't, then you're probably going to have a lot of negatives and your credit scores are probably going to drop. So recent late payments, the charge-offs, those are the things that are going to hurt your credit uh, the most if they are within the first 24 months. So uh, we want to get those off. And if you want to find this information, you can definitely go to the FICO website. They put all the information on their website, guys. So you can verify anything that I'm saying. Trust me, <laughs> you want to make sure they get this stuff off. So uh, along with that, now, what are some things that you can do to get uh, that affect your payment history that you can do to fix it? Well, there are things called pay for deletion, right? Which means that you're going to contact the creditors. You're going to ask them for a pay for deletion letter, right? You're going to ask them whatever the debt is that you owe. You're going to settle that debt, but you have to have it in writing from that, from that creditor or that business or whoever it is, right? So before you send any payment make sure that the letter says deletion if it doesn't say deletion then hey you're gonna still still gonna show up on your credit report and you're not gonna be happy about it right so one of the things is that um, if it goes to collections right sometimes you have in-house collectors you have companies that it sells to uh, stuff like that also understand that they want a hundred percent payment right so you need to be making sure you can make the payment. You need to make sure that the letter says deletion, all right? When you're doing your deletion letters, you want to make sure that the account that you're deleting says sold, not assigned. The reason is if it's assigned, then you're going to an in-house, uh, the in-house collection part of whatever the creditor that you owe the debt to. Meaning that if you pay for deletion, they may not take it off your credit report. But if you're doing it with a collection agency, an account has been sold, you can get a pay for deletion letter and that letter is going to take it off your credit report within 30 to 90 days, right? So this is why you want to make sure that the account says sold, not assigned. So now we're moving to step two, right? Now this is 30% of your FICO score and it's, a, it's the amount owed, right? Meaning that uh, if you have open credit cards, closed credit cards with balances, uh, balances on current credit cards. This is what this means. When it affects your credit or, or, your, or your credit scores, that means that you're over the 30% utilization, right? Now, that's what everybody tells you. Now, it will help you uh, with your credit scores, but what FICO says on their website is that it needs to be under 9%, meaning that if you have a credit card balance of $1,000, you 
you need to keep that credit card balance or that limit that you have on that credit card under 9%. This will give you the best results for your credit. Uh, credit scores going up and also making sure that you're uh, using your credit cards, which is going to come in handy later. I'm going to explain and break that down for you. But you want to make sure that you keep your credit utilization under 9%. So if you're over the 9% utilization or even 30% utilization, I'm going to give you some ways to get your balances down, right? Now, Eric, what can I do to get my balances down? Well, you can go to the credit card companies that you have and ask for an increase, right? That's one way of doing it. Hey, the next thing you can do is what is called the snowball effect. Now, I don't know if a lot of you have heard about Dave Ramsey. He talks about that in all his programs and systems, but it definitely works. What you can do is you can pay off one thing and whatever money that you had for paying off one credit card, once that credit card is under the 9%, then the amount that you pay for that credit card, you can now put it towards some, another credit card with a high balance and, and put that money together, which is called snowballing. So now you're taking small payments, now you snowball into a bigger payment. Picture snow. Uh, I don't have to break that down. You know what snowball is. So that's what. I'm so the next thing you can do to get your balances down is you can get a loan. I bet you're saying, "Hey, Eric, why would I get a freaking loan? Right? My credit's already bad." Well, here's why: if you get a secured loan, an unsecured loan, what's going to happen is it's going to hide. They can't see your habits. You see. Credit is all about habits. It's all about what you do with the cards that you have, right? So if all they can see is that you're going to make payments, which is good, but they don't see you over using your credit cards. They don't see you maxing out on your credit cards. This is why you want to get it up. Now we're moving on to step three, right? And, you know, forgive me for having my notepad, but I wanted to make sure that I'm staying on track for you guys and making sure that I'm giving you guys all the right proper steps. So, uh, step three, right, is mix of credit. Now, you want to make sure that you have three to five credit cards, one to two secure loans, one auto loan, and one mortgage. And if you don't have a mortgage, there's uh, a company that's called Rental Karma. I'll leave the link below that can report you paying your rent on your credit, which is going to actually help your credit score, help your credit score, and the mix of your credit score. So I'll put that link below in the comment section below. This is the mix that you want to have. This is going to help increase your credit scores and help you get to the A. So now we have step four. Now, step four talks about your increments, right? You need to make sure that you don't have a ton of increments. And I mean hard increments. Meaning that if uh, increment is basically, let's say you're looking for a car, you go to a dealership and you're applying for the loan through the dealership, they're gonna run your credit to a bunch of banks. That is called a hard pool. Those inquiries of all 20 of those banks that they use is gonna show up on your credit report, right? So in order to have and get to an 800 credit score, you need to only have two inquiries on your credit report, right? Because this is gonna show that you're not desperate. You don't have to go looking for loans. You don't have to go looking for credit cards or things of that nature. So we're making sure that we only have two inquiries on our credit. Now we're at step five. And step five is rebuilding your credit. Right? Now, how we're gonna do that, Eric? Well, I'm gonna leave a, I got links below in the comment section for uh, something called My Jewel. Right? This is gonna add a five thousand dollar line of credit to your credit report. This is gonna help increase your uh, decrease your utilization but increase the limit, right? So the more that we add to it, the more that your utilization goes. This is going to be things to help build up your credit. Also, I have a link below for something called Selflender. This is another company that help that's going to help you build your credit, right? So I'm going to leave the links below. Also, I'm going to put the link for a rental karma below so that it can be reported on your your rent payments can be reported on your credit report to help your credit scores go up, right? So hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit subscribe to the channel. And go ahead and smash that uh, bell for me to get all my up-to-date credit repair videos and gems that I dropped for you guys. So, 
I thank you for joining. Thank you for being on. Stay tuned for the next video. Hey guys, if you like this video, you're definitely gonna love these videos where I give more gems and tips and tricks to getting to an 800 credit score. So until next time, be blessed and we'll see you on the next video.